Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness! 1.8 extravaganza. We're gonna try out this one three. Invisibubble three. Because we needed a third one. Are there more of these in this guy's. <coughs> okay, there's an Invisibubble trio. Let's try out the Invisibubble trio. Stupid level ideas one, Invisibubble, that's just probably gonna be short because it loads so quickly. Oh, I get it. I can't actually see the bubbles because they are... Whoa. Actually, I can see the bubbles. They're very hard to see, but they aren't invisible. It's a white background, but it's also... There's just the slightest visibility of the, uh... Oh, I'm there. Whoa. <laughs> that was unexpected. Got caught with a little hiccup there. <coughs> that wasn't a level, though, so... Is this a level? No, it's not. <coughs> it's... Gives me tom silver tomahawk for some reason. Bubbles are still visible as before, and uh, the stage is as low effort as before. But then again, Bubble Man being completely immobile doesn't help him all that much. All right, so lower your expectations for Invisibubble 3. But at least we're going to know what it's about. <coughs> Are the bubbles going to be more invisible? Oh, okay, this is actually a little bit harder. And the bubbles are actually invisible this time. I could not see those, so they successfully made Invisibubble this time. <coughs> also, that was kind of wild. I kind of liked it. Despite the fact that I couldn't see what was actually attacking me. But it's still not a stage. But you're gonna get those sometimes. All right, Kazakh Stage Zero by Nullify. So it looks like this is going to be- whoa! The Yellow Devil is uh, kind of sticking out of the screen there. Did she cheat this beginning for whatever reason? All right. Hey, we actually have all the uh, Mega Man f uh, 4 weapons in this game. How about that? Now I'm just going to use Dive Missile the entire time because it's just so good. Oh, well, I guess not the entire time. What am I doing? I don't need any of that. <coughs> hey, 
take that! Throw a whole bunch of annoying weak enemies at me? I'm gonna do that! Oh, shoot. Dang it! There we go. Not very good at not wasting my energy, but soon. Very not very good at wasting not wasting my energy. Well, that's why I've got eight weapons. So I can waste my energy with some of them, and, uh, have plenty others left to use. I should probably not be wasting my health energy, though, because that's not quite as, uh, robust. Okay, that'll be a good way to recover it. are a lot of places with just a lot of... A lot of very weak enemies. It's like they want me to use Rain Flush or something. Yeah. And here we have Taka Tentos. So we want to destroy Taka Tentos. What? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Like, they want me to use Rain Flush or something. Oh, I have to go down. And in fairness, that was not very clear. I can't even use Ring Boomerang yet. Well, that's one reason not to use Ring Boomerang. It just stole the energy that was meant for something that needed it more. whole lot of harassment again. See, oop. I don't see grasshoppers that much. Wow, that was an extremely efficient use of all of my skull barrier. I sure hope I don't want to take any strolls along the ground here. I got baton blocked. That's not fair! It's the Yellow Devil time! Alright, what are you weak to? Not that. Not that, either. Here's where I wonder if the Yellow Devil pattern is... <coughs> okay, it's the drill. Oh, this is actually the Mega Man 1 uh, Devil Pack. It just took me actually doing it. Jump, 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 long jump, 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 if I can actually execute it, which I can't always because I'm bad. So yeah, Mega Man 1, uh, <coughs> attack pattern from the Yellow Devil. If you remember the Mega Man 1 uh, attack pattern from the Yellow Devil, you are set. Provided that it can't be customized. I don't know if it can be customized or not. 
That was a satisfactory emulation of an early Cossack level, uh, but I mostly like the inclusion of the Yellow Devil. That's not something you hear every day, but it's, it's cool for the first time you actually get to do this. All right. Let's try this one. Thunder Gauntlet Testing. <coughs> oh, hey, we get, uh, we get to be using Roll. And we... Oh, okay. Magic Card and Flex Keys. Good to know. I thought my roll was going to cross that gap. I misjudged. Okay. So I have infinite uh, noise crush, which is an interesting weapon to have infinite of. Always me a little bit nervous about it. Jumps. Oh, I need to use that. I have nothing else to send them. Not my favorite way of uh, getting a height advantage, but it is what it is. You use what the stage gives you. They're just not giving me something I need additional jump height for here, so... Okay. So this is a, uh, do you know how to use Skull Barrier test area? Oh, I like having this infinite noise crush. It's almost like there's not a weapon that was ever meant to be infinite. We need to grab keys! Magic card can grab to the sides or up, but it cannot grab down. Important information. Whoa! Not quite what I was meaning to do there, but yeah, good enough. Okay. Oh! Ah! I screwed up the order there, something fierce. I meant to summon. I meant to summon Skullbearer first, but I kind of just screwed that up very badly. Like that. So you're supposed to do that. If your brain remembers orders of operation properly, it shouldn't have much trouble. Alright. 
It's a pretty fantastic Mars remix, by the way. I hit him out of the park. about what was going to happen there, but nope, that was intended. Entirely what you're supposed to do. You're just getting a preview of what's coming. I, I was trying to jump there. Yeah, the jump didn't come out. Okay. But, unlike some games, this is... We are safe to use barrier weapons on, uh, count bombs. So, I will not be worried about that going forward. Something to be worried about what's going to happen. Much better. Um, just trying to be as careful as possible. Jeez, I, I wasn't even trying to do that, and I think that might be what they wanted me to do anyway. Uh, this is definitely power driver. Well, I was trying to do that, and it didn't quite work out. <coughs> uh, good enough, though, I guess. Uh, no. Yeah, you need to go away. There we go. It's a very interesting uh, athletic stage, I guess I'd call it. Feels like it's a stage that's mostly about using your uh, using your different abilities to move around than it is about. Them. Enemy challenges in particular. A little bit of extra insurance never hurt him. Yeah. <coughs> oh wow, they are uh, they are rewarding me handsomely for getting those two green keys. Can I carry more than one M tank? No, I still can't carry more than one M tank. Ooh, and we have a uh, pirate man ooh, and a uh, double splash woman duo here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, okay. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I think the aim is going to be mostly to stay to the side. I'll try to aim precisely with magic card. There we go. That worked. My aim wasn't fantastic, but, you know, I'm Doc. So what do you expect? I don't know that... I mean, I'm going to say that, uh... That was definitely a gauntlet, but there was no real thunder there. Unless Thunder Gauntlet is a reference I don't get. Eh, whatever. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.